Hi everyone, this is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. In today's video, I wanted to talk about some important ophthalmology topics for the Plavin exam. So before I start this video, I want to say that if you want to support my, my work on YouTube, you can do so by clicking on the like button for this video, sharing this video with your friends and subscribing to this channel. So let's start with the video. First of all, this list is very important. This list is about causes of sudden painless loss of vision. So the causes are retinal detachment, vitreous hemorrhage, central retinal vein occlusion or CRVO, central retinal artery occlusion or CRAO, and cerebrovascular accidents. Let's talk about CRAO or central retinal artery occlusion. This is a disease which causes sudden onset monoocular vision loss and it usually affects the elderly with hypertension, diabetes, which leads to atherosclerosis or emboli. CRAO is diagnosed on ophthalmoscopy and you can see pale optic disc, a pale retina and cherry red macula. These are very important questions which are asked in the Plavvan exam. The treatment for CRAO is not conclusive and you need to refer to ophthalmology urgently. They might give 100% oxygen, go for ocular massage. This will help to dislodge the clots if there are any. They can go for decreasing intraocular pressure using acetazolamide or anterior chamber paracentesis or they can go for thrombolytics. Next is CRVO or central retinal vein occlusion. This disease has similar clinical representation to that of CRAO and it presents with painless monoocular vision loss. It is diagnosed on fundoscopy or ophthalmoscopy and the findings are due to extraversation of blood into the retina. And because of this, you'll see a tomato splash or stormy sunset appearance of the retina. The treatment is again non-conclusive and you will need to refer the patient urgently to ophthalmology. They can try ranibuzumab or they can try intravitreal steroids, but there is no conclusive therapy available. Remember this important tip. Retinal hemorrhages are the main way of distinguishing venous obstruction from an arterial obstruction. So you cannot have a hemorrhage in retina if you don't have any blood entering into the eye. So this will help you remember the ophthalmoscopy pictures of both the diseases. Next one is retinal detachment and its precipitating factors can be trauma to the eye, extreme myopia, diabetic retinopathy, cataract surgery or it can be spontaneous. The presenting features include sudden onset, painless, unilateral loss of vision and the patient usually complains of the vision loss as a curtain coming down. The patient can have photopsia of flashing lights and they can see floaters. The diagnosis is with ophthalmoscopy and usually the retina is transparent but here you will see a gray detached retina. For the treatment of this condition, you'll first ask the patient to lean their head back. This can help the retina get back into place. If this doesn't help, then they'll have to go for formal reattachment via surgery, laser therapy, cryotherapy, injection of an expensile gas such as sulfur, hexafluoride, or perfluoropropane or scleral buckle. So those were some important eye related diseases which are asked in the Plavin exam. And I've tried to make this presentation very concise so that you learn the most important bits which are required for this exam. I'll be creating more videos about ophthalmology related topics which are asked in the Plavin exam. And uh, I'll see you soon in another video. So thanks for watching.